Okay. I want to do a quick video on the drag effect and show you what's possible using this configurator or rise or even setting these parameters manually. Um, but just let's see, let's see what happens. So I want to connect to the board. I've already read the CFX data, so everything's in here. And I can start the drag effect like you see right here. The drag effect, the size, is determined by a parameter in the main configuration file and it's called drag strip. So as you can see, you can either set it to very large or very small. Um, it's also depending on the, the, the type of drag effect you choose, uh, which I'll get back to um, later on. Um, if you take a look and double click on the blade profile, we have the option to set several drag style effects. It's the style underscore drag effect. So if you take a look, it's now set to noise and it's uh, rather big right now. We also have sparks. Let's change it to something just a little bit small because this doesn't look right. We'll change it right about here. This looks right. Double click the profile, drag. Okay, this is Sparks. We've got the gradient effect, which is uh, a little bit more, uh, more static. The gradient effect. Heat. And Flare. Which, then again, Flare should be set to a little bit of a bigger drag strip effect. So, like this. The color effect is inside the color profile. Uh, since the new firmware, I think two firmware versions ago, it's a different parameter. Uh, it's called drag. You can set it to any color you like. Uh, and I like to set it to deep red. That's a nice color. So, that's the drag effect. We have several options. We have noise, sparks, which is a bit like the unstable effect, the gradient, heat, and flare which is my personal favorite and the size of this effect can be set in the main config and it's called drag strip play around with it have fun